So we talked about how not everyone is at one end of the spectrum. And now we're going to talk about what happens when your gender is opposite of your sex or when you fit somewhere closer to the middle. So here we ask people in the audience to come up with words that they associated with transgender. And no one really said anything. I think it was a bad idea for me to be there, myself being a trans man. I think they might have been a little bit intimidated. But here are some of the words that we came up with. And some of the things that people did say were gay or transvestites. Um, that's really all we got out of them. Oops. So, so here are some common misconceptions about what being transgender means. And the first one is that gender and sexual orientation are related in very many ways. And as far as I can see it, gender and sexual orientation are related in only one way, which is that sexual orientation refers to how you feel about other people based on your gender. And that is to say, if you're homosexual, then you like people who are of the same gender as you. And conversely, if you are a heterosexual, then you like people of the opposite gender as you. And that's really all I can think of when it comes to ways that gender and sexual orientation are related. Another misconception, which is kind of a weird one, is that transgender people are hermaphrodites, are have both female and male genitalia. As discussed earlier when talking about intersex people, um, there is not a condition among humans where people have both male and female genitalia. There are conditions where people have ambiguous genitalia, but I have yet to, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do not know of any kind of medical condition where you have both genitalia. It does occur in some animals, such as parasites, but as far as I know, this is not a condition that humans have, and certainly is not something that transgender people have necessarily, unless they are intersex. Um, another misconception is that transgender people all feel the same way about their gender identity, which is totally false. There are a lot of different ways to identify, and there are a lot of different meanings to the word transgender. And obviously, because there are lots of different ones, people feel differently from, from person to person. So, this is a diagram that's becoming more and more common to be seen, and it's a transgender umbrella. And it's called this because transgender is actually used as an umbrella term to cover a lot of different kinds of people. There are intersex people who are between the sexes, and they may identify as transgender. There are cross-dressing or trans transvestite people who may not necessarily feel like, who may be completely, you know, certain about that their gender matches their sex, but they like to cross-dress because they like to express their gender that way. There may be um, transsexual people who, and that includes people who are post-operation or pre-operation or non-operational, and these are people who feel that their sex is the opposite of their gender, and there may be I don't know how to pronounce the word androgen or non non gender specific people. And these are people who feel that they may be all or none or both all and none of the genders at the same time uh, at the same time. So as you can see, transgender really covers a lot of different kinds of people. And even within the different groupings, all viewing their gender in different ways. So, when one of the common misconceptions of transgender is that they're all the same, 
you actually can't really understand one and therefore understand all. Which is true about a lot of things in life, actually. Um, Hannah and I, or mostly I, decided to kind of scrap this Miriam Webster definition as much as I love Miriam Webster. Not because it isn't good, it's a good start, but because it doesn't encompass a lot of different things. A lot of, well, a lot of important information, which is that gender is the way that one identifies oneself in regard to the binary system, which is to say, when you see male and female, it's wherever you fall, whether that's on them or in between, and it's also how one expresses the identity, your gender expression, which is how you express your gender identity. And um, here comes the big question, which is, why are we telling you all this? So, Transgender Day of Remembrance, which is the day that we originally had this presentation on, is November 20th, and it was started in 1999. Um, it's a day for the transgender community to come together and remember those people who have died as a result of transphobia, as a result of hatred, who were murdered because they were hated because they were transgender. And the reason we're telling you all this is because a lot of people are violent towards other people because they're afraid of the differences. But if we understand the differences between one another, then there will be less violence and more acceptance. So education as a way to prevent violence. This is a list of the transgender people who have died within the past year. So here are two people who you might want to keep in mind when thinking about Transgender Day of Remembrance. And the first is Rita Hester, whose murder in 1998 um, inspired a woman named Gwendolyn Ann Smith to help to hold what became the first Transgender Day of Remembrance in 1999. And the second is Brandon Tina, who the movie Boys Don't Cry was based on. And Brandon's murder sparked a lot of activism because of the events leading up to his death. And I w during the question and answer session, I was asked how he died, and so I explained it, but I chose not to explain the events during the presentation, so I'm not going to right now. And, um, so thanks for watching this presentation about transgender and gender, and transgender days and members. And really the goal is to educate people so that when they come across transgender people, instead of being afraid of the differences, Instead of running away, they're kind and accepting. And I think that education is really the best way to combat violence.